Are you truly ready for what the future holds? The Department of Homeland Security has just dropped a critical bombshell, a list of eight essential items they're advising every American to stockpile immediately. But here's the real kicker. Are you just surviving or are you prepared to thrive in the face of the unknown? Today, we're not just skimming the surface. We're going all in on why the DHS insists these items are absolutely vital for your survival toolkit. Stay tuned as we unpack the essentials that could mean the difference between just getting by and truly being prepared for anything. 1. Food. Just like we can't live without water. A sturdy supply of food is absolutely critical in any emergency or disaster scenario. When we step into the survival arena, putting food on your checklist is just as crucial as water. The Department of Homeland Security advises everyone to have at least a three-day stash of non-perishable food per person. But, if you're aiming for ultimate preparedness, why not level up and aim for a two-week supply or even more? Fears the lowdown on food prepping. A first up, zero in on non-perishable items. We're talking about the champions of longevity here, canned goods, dry powerhouses like rice and beans, and the resilient dehydrated or freeze-dried sustenance. This kind of food will be your knight in shining armor when the grocery runs are out of the question, or when the fridge gives out due to power failures and variety. Absolutely non-negotiable. It's not just about making it through. It's about thriving. Keep your stash diverse with proteins, fruits, veggies, and grains, and never overlook any dietary restrictions your family may have. Preparation and convenience are key. Odds are in an emergency, your gourmet kitchen might be out of commission. Opt for foods that ask for minimal water and nearly no cooking. Also, a camping stove or grill could become your best friend in these times. Just remember the safety dance with ventilation. Pro tip, keep that food supply rotating. You don't want to discover your emergency food has expired just when you need it the most. Stay vigilant about expiration dates and refresh your stockpile routinely to ensure everything is tasty and safe. And hey, remember to stash some of your favorite comfort foods, whether it's chocolate, tea, or coffee. These little treats can boost your spirits in tough times. Just keep a keen eye on those expiration dates and how you store them. 2. Water. A. The essence of life itself, and according to the Department of Homeland Security, the second critical item on our must stockpile list. But why is H2 getting such a spotlight? Well, in the face of emergencies, the DHS is crystal clear about one thing. Every household should be primed with enough water to weather the storm. Picture this one gallon per person per day. And we're not just talking a 72-hour safety net here. If you're playing it smart and safe, a two-week supply is where you want to aim. Now, dig into the reasons why water takes the crown in emergency preps. First, hydration is your best friend. More so in stressful situations or if you need to be mobile, then consider the realm of sanitation, hand-washing dishes and clothes don't clean themselves, and water scarcity could turn this routine into a luxury. Plus, think about your emergency food stash. Those freeze-dried and dehydrated treasures, they need water to transform into edible meals. Storing water seems straightforward, right? If opting for the convenience of commercially bottled water, remember to store it away from light and heat and keep an eye on those expiration dates. For the DI approach, choose food-grade containers, sidestepping anything prone to degrade over time like milk cartons or glass bottles, but here's the kicker, ensuring your water is safe from contamination is a prep in itself. Whether it's treating uncertain sources with household bleach or purifying tablets, remember being prepared means ensuring water safety just as much as availability. With a potential requirement of 1460 gallons for a family for planning through a year, it dawns how essential purification becomes. Remember, filters need replacing, an unscented bleach or even a homemade solar still can be a lifesaver in dire times. Wrapping up, stocking up on water is non-negotiable. But more importantly, ensuring you have the means to purify it, it makes all the difference when facing the unpredictable. Three XO dot communication tools take the spotlight next. And trust me, in the digital age, staying connected isn't just convenient. It's absolutely essential, the Department of Homeland Security. ADUSC is emphatically advising everyone to beef up their communication arsenal, especially when our standard go-tos may be off the table. Now, why is this so pivotal, you ask? Picture this. 
Being able to snag real-time updates during a crisis can mean the difference between staying put or evacuating, not to mention staying one step ahead of the weather or immediate dangers. And communication isn't just about receiving info. It's also key for signaling for help or reassuring your loved ones that you're safe. Plus, never underestimate the power of human connection during times of stress. A simple phone call can be incredibly comforting. What's the tech that should be finding its way into your emergency stash? A battery-powered or hand-crank radio is a must. This could be your lifeline to the outside world, your source of vital updates in a blackout. And don't forget about power banks. Le keeping a couple of these charged up means your mobile devices can stay on, keeping you in the loop even when the grid is down. Solar chargers? Absolutely genius for those extended power outages, tapping into the sun's energy to keep you powered up. And for those in the know, a satellite phone might seem like a big-ticket item, but it can be a game-changer in areas where cell towers are down. Consider it your fail-safe communication device, now should technology fail you altogether. An emergency whistle might seem rudimentary, but it's a potent tool for drawing attention when you need to be found. But gear alone isn't the end game. Being prepped means knowing how to use these tools effectively. Make sure to have a printed list of emergency contacts, because hey, our phones aren't always within reach. Discuss and drill alternative communication plans with your household and stay ahead. Know your go-to radio stations for emergency broadcasts ahead of any disaster. By integrating these vital communication tools into your emergency preparedness plan, alongside essentials like water, food, and first aid, as urged by the DHS, you're setting yourself and your loved ones up with a robust defense against whatever challenges may come your way. 4. The First Aid Kit Imagine this, chaos ensues following an unexpected disaster and medical help isn't immediately available. What's your next best step? The Department of Homeland Security shines a spotlight on a critical yet often overlooked hero in such scenarios, a well-stocked first aid kit. Yes, you heard that right. Alongside the essentials like water and food, having immediate access to medical supplies leaps out as a game changer in any emergency. Why does this matter? Picture the aftermath of a disaster. Roads are blocked, hospitals are overwhelmed, and help seems miles away. Your first aid kit steps into the spotlight, allowing you to tackle minor injuries or even potentially life-threatening conditions there, and then, however, not any kit will do. Customizing your first aid kit, tailoring it to include prescription medications, asthma inhalers, EPI pens, or other specialized medical gear, could dramatically tilt the scales in favor of your family's unique health requirements. But wait, there's more. Owning a first aid kit is fantastic, but possessing the know-how to use it efficiently, that's invaluable. It's akin to having a mini doctor at your fingertips. Basic first aid training, like how to dress wounds, administer CPR, or handle minor ailments, could indeed be the line between life and death when professional medical help is a no-show. Now, what should this lifesaver include? Think of it as packing a survival box for your health. Bandages in every shape and size, antiseptic wipes, antibiotic ointment, gauze pads, adhesive tape, not forgetting scissors, tweezers, pain relievers such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen, gloves, and a thermometer. The key is maintaining this kit well. Regularly check and replace expired items and opt for waterproof storage to combat any element. Accessibility is the name of the game. Ensure that this kit isn't just known to you but to everyone in your home. And why stop at home, having smaller versions in your car, at work, or even in your emergency go bag, can set you miles ahead in preparedness. The Department of Homeland Security emphasizes the vital role of comprehensive health and medical preparedness in emergencies. Given the heightened risk of injuries and illnesses post-disaster, due to factors like accidents, stress, or exposure, a first aid kit isn't just a recommendation. It's a necessity, integrating one into your emergency arsenal and arming yourself with the knowledge to use it effectively magnifies your resilience and fosters a safer outcome for you and your loved ones in the face of unpredictability. 5. Sanitation and Hygiene Supplies Picture this, post-disaster, and the once simple task of staying clean becomes a Herculean challenge. That's where the Department of Homeland Security steps in. Heralding sanitation and hygiene supplies as not just important but critical in your emergency arsenal. Here's the deal. 
after a disaster, you might find yourself waving goodbye to the luxury of regular waste management and clean water. Yes, it's a dire scenario where diseases could throw a party, but fear not. We're here with insider tips on what you should hoard to avoid turning your post-apocalypse experience into a nightmare. First off, toilet paper, the unsung hero of hygiene supplies. Don't get caught with your pants down. Ensure you've got enough rolls to keep you and your loved ones covered for weeks. Next, we can't overlook the power of sanitary wipes and hand sanitizers, with water turning into a rare commodity. These items are your best bet for keeping those germs at bay. Now for situations where the plumbing turns its back on you, a portable toilet can be your throne in the wilderness. Seriously, this is one royal essential you won't want to overlook, and what about the mess? Strong, durable garbage bags are your best friends, doubling as rain ponchos or makeshift waterproofing in a pinch. We can't forget about personal hygiene items. From menstrual products and diapers for the little ones, to toothpaste and toothbrushes, keeping up with your daily routine is key to feeling human amidst chaos. Lastly, disinfectants and unscented bleach take the stage for their dual role in cleaning surfaces and potentially making water safe to use. Maintaining hygiene isn't just about comfort, it's about survival. Illnesses can spread like wildfire in crowded shelters or amongst displaced families. Remember, something as simple as hand washing can be a powerful shield against pathogens. 6. Transform your survival kit with essential clothing and bedding. The Department of Homeland Security spotlights the vital importance of stocking up on appropriate clothing and bedding as a top-tier prepping item. Imagine the scene post-disaster. You're faced with bone-chilling winds or scorching sun with nowhere to hide. Your survival could hinge on your gear. Why, you ask? Because the right clothing and bedding tailored to potential, unpredictable weather scenarios are not just about comfort. They're about staying alive. Whether you're battling the icy touch of hypothermia or the relentless assault of heat stroke, your gear could make all that. But here's where it gets interesting. It's not just about having a pile of jackets or blankets. It's about smart layering, think moisture wicking base layers for those unexpected showers, insulating layers that hug warmth, and waterproof outer layers that laugh in the face of the heaviest downpour. And hey, don't overlook the power of a good hat, gloves, and especially sturdy footwear. Ever thought about the miles you might need to tread over unforgiving terrain or through debris-strewn streets? That's where durable, comfortable footwear becomes not just beneficial, but essential for keeping you moving and injury-free. And there's more. The unsung heroes of your survival gear, thermal blankets and sleeping gear. Imagine a thermal blanket as your personal, portable heat source, lightweight, yet capable of trapping a surprising amount of body heat, proving invaluable when traditional warmth is just a distant memory. And when night descends, you'll find solace in a sleeping bag chosen specifically for your climate, from those designed for the harsh cold to others for milder nights. Add a sleeping pad for that extra layer of insulation from the cold, merciless ground. Don't forget about rain gear, because staying dry isn't just about comfort, it's about survival. In the epic tale of man versus nature, being prepared with the right clothing and bedding could be your ultimate plot twist. 7. Lighting and Power Essentials the unseen heroes of emergencies. Imagine this, a blackout hits, and suddenly, your home is plunged into an unexpected darkness. No lights, no tech, nothing. Sounds pretty daunting. Well, it's more than just a hassle or a break from binge-watching your favorite series. It's about safeguarding your well-being, staying clued up with vital updates, and holding on to that precious peace of mind during chaos. Ever tried navigating your home in pitch darkness? It's like an obstacle course but with higher stakes. Think tripping hazards and the not-so-small matter of your safety. And if you're banking on your phone's flashlight, what happens when your phone eventually dies? Silence. Darkness. Isolation. Not being able to charge your phone means you're effectively cut off from the world. No calls, no updates. Plus, in extreme weather, no power could also mean no heat or AXEU, a situation that can swiftly move from uncomfortable to perilous. Beyond the practicalities, there's the psychological boost that light offers in times of darkness, literally and metaphorically. It's not just illuminating, it's uplifting. So, what's the game plan? Your emergency kit needs to be beefed up with these essentials. We're talking high-quality LED flashlights and headlamps, a stockpile of batteries rechargeables for the win, and don't forget solar and hand crank lights. 
These gems not only light up your space but could also come with nifty extras like radios and USB ports for a lifeline to your phone. And yes, we're giving a nod to the classics too. Candles, matches, and lighters. Just remember, with great fire comes great responsibility. For those ready to level up their prep game, portable solar panels and generators are where it's at. They not only charge your devices, but do so in an eco-friendly way. And if you depend on powered medical devices or need to manage temperature extremes, fuel-powered generators could be your best bet. Just stay smart about carbon monoxide risks. Before we wrap up, a couple of pro moves or stay on top of your gear's condition, ensure everyone knows how to use it and store it safely. It's not just about having the right tools. It's about ensuring they're ready when you are. Take it from the Department of Homeland Security. Lighting and power are non-negotiables in your emergency lineup. Why? Because even in the darkest times, the right prep can bring light. 8. Stock up on medications now. The Department of Homeland Security is ringing the alarm bells for us all to pay attention to one crucial element of our emergency kits, a robust stash of prescription medications and must-have over-the-counter drugs. In the wake of a disaster, pharmacies are shuttered and healthcare facilities are out of reach. Now more than ever, maintaining your health is paramount, especially for those managing chronic conditions like diabetes, heart disease, asthma, or high blood pressure. A single missed dose could spell trouble, spiraling into severe health crises. Why should you heed this advice? Amidst the post-disaster chaos, even minor ailments could escalate without the simplest of treatments. This segment is your guide to ensuring you're prepared on the medication front. First off, secure at least a two-week supply of any prescription drugs you or your loved ones rely on. And in some cases, stocking up for an even longer period might be wise. Consult your healthcare provider about setting aside an emergency medication reserve, especially for prescriptions with dispensing restrictions. Don't overlook the basics. A well-rounded selection of OTC drugs can be your first line of defense against pain, fever, allergies, and GI troubles during these stressful times. Think acetaminophen or ibuprofen for pain and fever, antihistamines for allergies, and treatments for stomach upsets. And for those with specific medical needs, ensure inhalers for asthma, epinephrine auto-injectors for severe allergies, insulin for diabetes, and any other critical medications are included in your emergency stash. Store these lifesavers in their original containers to evade any mix-ups, keep them in a cool, dry place to maintain potency, and stay vigilant about expiration dates to keep your supply fresh and effective. Don't get caught unprepared. Take action now to safeguard your health when disaster strikes. In conclusion, preparing for emergencies is an essential act of foresight that can drastically impact our resilience during unexpected events. From ensuring warmth and light to maintaining a healthy stockpile of medications, each step is a building block towards securing your well-being in times of crisis. The Department of Homeland Security emphasizes these points not to provoke fear but to foster a sense of preparedness and empowerment amongst us all. Remember, preparation today can make a world of difference tomorrow. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What's one item you believe is absolutely essential in an emergency kit that we haven't covered? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Your support helps us continue to bring valuable information to our community. Stay safe, stay prepared, and see you in the next video.